once in a while, right before ordinary life, love gives you a fairy tale. And for that reason, we're gathered today, surrounded by the love of both the friendship and the family, to celebrate the blending of two lives. For today, Mike and Lindsay come before us as two, but they will leave this place as one united in marriage. As family and as friends, each of you played some important part in making this moment possible and in various ways have contributed to the relationship. They thank you, and I thank you. You may be seated. Except for the parents of the bride and groom. Like as the groom's parents, do you sanction this marriage your blessings and also receive Lindsay with love as a member of your family? Good, because she's looking at you pretty hard there, so I'm saying. <laughs> and to the bride's parents, you two sanction this your blessings and also receive Mike with love as a member of your family. Then throughout time, it's always been a distinct honor to present the bride in marriage whose honor is that today. Good answer. Right. You, you may kiss the beautiful bride. Mike, you have to wait. Will you two turn out and face your parents? On behalf of both of your son and your daughter, they want me to say just a few words of thanks for everything you've done to make this moment possible. I understand you've been married 39 years and 28 years. Because within those years of marriage, you've demonstrated to each of them the meaning of love and respect and honor and commitment. Those gifts you bestowed upon them today that can be shared in exchange with each other. They thank you. You may be seated. George Eliot said, What greater thing is there than for two human souls to feel that they join together to strengthen each other in our labor, to minister to each other in our sorrow, to share with each other in our gladness, and to be one with each other in the silent, unspoken memories of life? Marriage is a commitment for life. It's the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and for growth that no other relationship can equal. It's that physical and emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. It understands and forgives mistakes that life is unable to avoid, and encourages new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. Marriage is a promise. The potential in the hearts of two people who love each other it takes a lifetime to fulfill. So now as you two are going to pledge your vows, each to the other. Remind them that the vows are more sacred. I know where the words are more tender than those you're about to assume. May you both live a long and happy life together. Bless you. <clears throat> now, this is a special moment that each of them have written their marriage vows to each other. And marriage vows from the hearts of two people who love each other are always more beautiful than a traditional book of ceremony. So, previously we picked straws. Thought that Mike should go first, since this will probably be his last chance to go first for a long time. <laughs> This day on, now and forevermore, I promise to always love you. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. You mean more to me than anything in the whole world. And if we listen to each other's heart, We will ever happily ever happen. That deserves applause if you would, please. Alright, mine's a bit longer, so <laughs> fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Six years ago you walked into my life on a sunny November afternoon without a hurricane sight. Since then, I've been making little vows in my head, and this is the final project. <clears throat> when I was younger, someone told me that soulmates don't exist, but I've found that soulmates aren't made, but rather created by choosing each other every day. I promise to always choose you. I promise that no matter what any argument we have, I'll never go to bed mad. I promise to listen to you when you need me to, and act when action is needed. 
I promise to always be on your side, even when you're wrong. You'll hear about it later. I promise to be there when you're the toast of the town, babe, or even if you strike out and are coming home. I promise to clean up my messes as long as you promise not to get mad. I'll follow you to the shadow realm, which was a joke, but really I'd walk through hell for you. After all, the greatest hope, um, sorry. I promise I won't complain about the four hour drives to Miami to see the Dolphins, because after all, they're the greatest football team. And at the end of the day, I promise to choose you always. I love you. Please applaud, thank you. Let me remind you very briefly of the symbolism of the wedding rings. They are intentionally made of precious metal and of gems to represent the precious love that's shared between the two of you. And the circular to represent the unbroken circle of love. The love it's really given has no beginning or no end. This ring is my precious gift to you. It's a sign that from this day forward, your every breath should be surrounded by my love. With this ring, I be well. Oh, yeah. This ring is my precious gift to you. To sign that from this day forward, your every breath shall be surrounded by my love. With this ring, I be wed. Oh, yeah. And now, for as much as both Mike and Lindsay have consented together in wedlock and have woods the same before this company, and their two pledge their faith, each to the other. And declare the same by the joining hands and getting receiving rings. I now pronounce them husband and wife. Mike, go on and kiss the girl. It's yes, John. John. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the formal pronouncement? The great wall of Jesus said, laughter is timeless, and imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. So may the love you two share today grow in time, song, and rhyme into your very old fairy tale. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with applause as they kiss one more time as has the wife, Mr. Mrs. Michael Sanders.
best man. Uh, today is a very important and special day for Mike, as technically this counts as me publicly acknowledging it as a friend. Uh, <laughs> something I've avoided doing for years. Uh, when writing a speech as the best man, there are certain elements you need to cover. A few jokes at the groom's expense. The hardest part about that, the time limit. <laughs> Between his borderline unhealthy obsession with the dolphins, his inability to say unbanned from Facebook, uh, the time he was grilling and he, uh, the time he was grilling and he sprinkled salt on a steak like Salt Bay when he thought nobody was watching. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, there's really no lack of material for this. The, uh, the next step is trickier though. It's telling you about endearing, standout moments, character-defining events, times where Mike really took center stage. Yeah, I drew a blank on that one too. <laughs> Because you see, the thing is, that's honestly not just not Mike. So allow me to deviate a little bit from the traditional best man speech format for our essentially untraditional groom. So, do you remember when your teachers would tell you, put that calculator away, you're not, gonna, you're not always gonna have one in your pocket. Anybody remember MapQuest? Printing out paper directions from your home printer, trying to shuffle through them while driving and still getting lost? Yeah, GPS in your pocket. <laughs> How about hearing a song on the radio, and short of humming a few bars to your friend, you had zero chance of figuring out the name of it? Google, Shazam, in your pocket. We become so dependent on that phone being there when we reach for it, that we sometimes completely overlook exactly how amazing that thing that we have is. But not Lindsay. <laughs> not Lindsay. And certainly not any of us lucky enough to share this day with the both of you. Mike is there, without fail. Every time when you reach for him, that's just who he is. They say the people you surround yourself with define you. No hero or legend really makes it through alone. After all, where would Frodo be without Sam? <laughs> He's absolutely useless. Sam had to literally carry him, and without Sam's support, everything would have fallen apart. Okay, fine, let's make a comparison a bit more up Mike's alley. 
where would Yugi have been without Joey Wheeler? <laughs> no doubt that if Mike was on that boat, Yugi would have gotten all of his exotic pieces back. <laughs> but today is your wedding day. Today is about your story arc. Like it or not, today you're in the limelight. Today we'll all remember when you stood in front of everyone who you've, who you've stood beside for so long and vowed yourself to Lindsay that she may always have a rock during hard times, a light during dark times, and a friend uh, through whatever life may bring. I have no doubt that you're going to be an amazing husband the way you've been an unwavering companion for as long as we've known each other. I don't actually want to admit how long that is. And to Lindsay, I could not think of anyone else that will appreciate, love, and recognize Mike for who he is, good and bad, the way that I know you will. Welcome to the family, and thank you for allowing me to be your supporting character today. Hi, everybody. My name is Cindy, and I, well, Nikki, grew up down the street from me. Um, and Logan is her surrogate brother. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I found DJ. I mean, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that was great. And clearly I'm old because mine's on paper. Everybody else had their cell phone. So, anyway, here we go. It's hard to believe that the little girl we met on the big wheel when she was four years old could be married and no longer coming to my house for breakfast to, with Logan before school. Those days went so quickly. And how you become this amazing young woman blows my mind. I'm so glad to see you have Mike by your side to carry you along for the ride. If these years on earth have taught me anything, I will tell you to enjoy every moment, good and bad. The good you'll have fun with. The bad, you'll learn from. And you'll have so many stories to tell 30 years from now. So, I'd like everybody to raise their glass. I would like to say congratulations to Don and Karen for raising an amazing daughter. Congratulations to Gary and Jenny for raising a wonderful son. And especially congratulations to Lindsay and Mike. May your adventures be many and your happiness be always. And Mike, you better take good care of our little girl. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. I started, um, one of our favorite movies is Top Gun. One of Lindsay's and mine's, you know. So I started crying on the opening song when everybody did it. <laughs> and I'm very glad to have you as an addition to our family. It's very special to us. And I love you. Michael, you've done great. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you.